Uh, my name is Brad West. I host the afternoon show on Shine FM. Uh, I'm a husband. I'm not a father. Everybody keeps asking me. No, I'm not a father. Uh, I am a sports fan. I am a fan of many things, and uh, it's kind of hard to put me in a nutshell. My wife's been trying for five years and still can't, so. Uh, Psalm 133, verse 1, and it says, How great it is when people live together in unity, because just watch the news. There's not enough people living in unity in this world. There's too much conflict, so I wish more people would carry that one with them. Three words to describe myself. Okay, I'd say uh, I'm goofy. Um, I can be serious when I need to be, but eh, it's more fun to be goofy. Uh, I'm adventurous. My wife doesn't always uh, share my passion for adventure. Um, and I'd say the third one is uh, unique. I'm kind of a little bit out there and I haven't met a lot of people that are as Brad-like, if you will, as me. But maybe that's a good thing too, I don't know. I am an expert at identifying aircraft. I grew up about five minutes away from the airport, so the planes were always taken off. And after a while, I got to figure out what the difference was between this kind of plane and that kind of plane, and what the airline paint jobs looked like. So all these years later, now I can see a plane landing at Calgary Airport, and more often than not, I can tell you what kind it is, what airline, and probably where it's coming from as well. It's kind of my geeky side. Someone in my life who means the world to me. Well, okay, I'm gonna have to obviously say my wife, Carla. Um, you wanna know about her? Well, uh, we met, I was actually working at a radio station in Prince George, BC. Here we are five years later, we've been married and uh, she works for a charity here in Calgary and uh, yeah, I'd say definitely my wife, Carla. If hockey is considered a TV show, then I'll pick hockey, but it, let's say it's not. Um, I have a little bit of a guilty pleasure. Every time Judge Judy is on, I stop what I'm doing and I watch Judge Judy. I'll be honest, I'm not all that uh, into painters, but the guy who was on PBS, Bob Ross, with the puffy hair, little clouds, little birds, that guy, I like him. Man, that's hard to pick one. I'm gonna say King David just because of the whole story that goes along with it. The underdog, you know, everybody said you could never beat Goliath and all of a sudden he beats Goliath and it kind of, uh, the message here is great for not just kids but everybody. I, I'd like to possess uh, mind reading skills because it would help out in everyday life but also marriage wise. If you knew exactly what your wife was thinking all the time, I think things would run a little more smoothly in the house. I was taking uh, business courses at school in Vancouver and a friend of mine got a uh, uh, volunteer radio show and he asked me to co-host with him. And it was about six months later and we were doing the very lucrative midnight to 2 a.m. show on a Sunday night. So we probably had about four listeners. You know, it was the highlight of my week and I said, why, why don't I switch directions? I enjoy doing this. A lot of people told me when I first said I'm going to go into radio and I switched kind of uh, my, my education uh, path, if you will that I was not a smart move. So I was really proud when I finished it and I, and I got a, my first job in radio, I'll say that. By mistake, one time I said, you have to get down here to blank Dodge. And I was going on and on about how great they are when I was actually at the Ford dealership. It was just, I was looking at the wrong sign and yeah, they weren't very happy with me. I think with Shine FM, every single song, everything you hear on Shine FM is going to be safe, it's going to be positive, and I think that's a cool thing. Back in high school, I had a friend that was uh, into DC talk. I started liking their music, and that's kind of, I think, the first taste I got of, of Christian music. If you ever want to keep your finger on the pulse of what's happening in Calgary, uh, especially with cool family events and stuff, not only will Shine FM help you there, but we'll do it with some laughs and some great music along the way too, so it's a nice combination for families especially. I'm gonna say though Matthew West because there's a slight chance that I'm related to him because we have the same name. I mean, I'm probably not, but there's that chance. So I'm going with him. Profession other than this one. Now, I love radio, but uh, I've also had a dream since I, uh, I learned to scuba dive about four years ago, three, four years ago, to be a scuba instructor, to live somewhere hot and uh, every day get up in the morning, get on the boat and take people out and one day it'll happen. 
Okay, specifically with my show, obviously you're going to have the great music you always hear on Shine FM. But on top of that, I, I like to have a lot of interaction with listeners. There's um, a lot more to just talking into a microphone. You actually do develop relationships with listeners, whether you know it or not. So on top of that, we like to throw in some cool contests, including a, a noodle scratcher at 4.30. So in a nutshell, I think that's what my show is all about. Very simple way that you can connect with me. Weekdays, 2 to 6, turn on Shine FM. That would be number one. Otherwise, there's all this great technology, Facebook and Twitter. All those links are on our website over at shinefm.com, which you might be on right now if you're watching this. And uh, there's always the phone as well, and that, that's my favorite, favorite way because yeah, you actually get to talk to people and, and interact that way. And you can always call us in the studio at 276-8888. So plenty of ways to connect, and I'd love to connect with you. So uh, everything in the world in one sentence, that's what you want? Oh, wow. Uh, no pressure here. Uh, I'd say enjoy life and uh, be thankful for what you have. And don't, I see this so many times, people are wanting for things that they, that they don't have and forgetting about the stuff they do have. So I'd say uh, enjoy what you have, be thankful, and, and just enjoy life.